Welcome basketball fans, we're here in San Antonio. The visiting Phoenix Suns will square off against the Spurs. I'm Kevin Harlan, here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sick will join us later on. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. Bell hands it off. With the crossover. Dishes to the low block. Set away. Couldn't wait to get a hand on that shot. He saw that coming all the way. Parker hangs. Scores the opening field goal. Unbelievable shot there. He busted out the trick release and left the defender dazed and confused. Tamarian backs him down. Poked away. And it's gathered up by Duncan. Manu passes it up court. Leads him with the pass. Nice shot laid in by Bowen. Kenny, how about Bruce Ball? He's such a terrific defender. Yeah, he's still quick for his age. But what really gives him the edge is he devours tapes on his opponents. You can be certain that by the time he steps on the court, he's studying the scouting video over and over. He's got a game plan all laid out as how he's going to lock his man down. Well, scouting video is becoming more and more an integral part of the game. It's an invaluable tool, Kevin. To be the best in the league, you have to know yourself and know your opponent. Studying video makes that possible. And he makes the first one. He gets them both. Elson inbounds the ball. Now our sideline reporter, Craig Sager, has some information for us as we get this Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, I had a moment to speak with Greg Popovich, coach of the Spurs. He told me that they're planning to put a lot of pressure on the ball and try to cause some turnovers. Guys are more than capable of doing that with the ball hawks they have in their squad. That's right, and those picks can turn into easy offense on the other end. It should be exciting to watch. Thanks, Craig. Rises and dishes. 29 seconds left in the first. Bowen. Amar snatches it inside. Bowen looked like he rushed the shot a bit on that one. Nash crosses it over. At the end of one, and it's close. The score, four to two. Well, I like how both teams have come out of the gates. They're both playing smart ball, making the extra pass, and getting the good look. A well-played opening quarter. There's plenty more in store. Duncan inbounds it to start the second quarter. Duncan backs in. With the fadeaway, Amaro snatches the defensive rebound. The D caught a little bit of a break on that. That was an awfully good shot. It just didn't go in. Swings it to Amaro. Hits back rim and gets a nice bounce. Oh, man, he's so good at scoring on that low block. No question, Kenny. He just knows his way around the basket. What a pass! Corner. Dishes it to Duncan. Six seconds to shoot. Backs in. Throws it up. Kept alive by Elson. Duncan has it out left. The layup was tossed in by Elson. Nice dive. He dished it inside and it was right on the money.
Amari inbounds the ball. Straight man-to-man -man D here. The bounce pass to Stoudemire. Goes up. Flushes it with the one-handed jam. Here's another look with the Sprite Slam Cam. He's getting a highlight reel play of the day. No, make that the week. Heck, make it the year. Now that was a dunk. The dump off to Manu. Bowen backs him down. Bowen keeps it alive. Flipped up and in on that last layup. Great hustle, Cap. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The Stoudemire takes it up, stuffs it in. He's got oh, such a knack for finding the open man. Yeah, he picks defenses apart with absolute precision. Duncan feeds it to Manu. That's it for the first half. The score all tied at eight. Well, a closely contested first half. Yeah, if the game keeps up like this, it could be a nail bite. Let's go to the T-Mobile Halftime Report. Stoudemire has been working hard on the glass. He's our rebound leader with three. On the Spurs, Parker is our leading shot blocker with one. Let's have a look at the team stats from the first half. The Spurs have been hunting down those offensive rebounds, and they've piled up second-chance points. Well, in a close game like this, those extra possessions become a big factor. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Elson inbounds it to start the second half. Gets it on the perimeter. Manu, too much mustard on that one. Now our sideline reporter, Craig Sager, has some information for us as we get this Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, Kevin, when the Spurs came out for the second half, I spoke with Coach Greg Popovich. He told me that even though it's a tie game, they need to take it up a couple of notches. They've had a tough time so far getting their shots to drop. And he said, we've got to remember to move without the ball and flash to the lane. If we can get some more good looks inside, it'll be a big help. Guys? Well, the defense has definitely kept the minute up until now. Well, we'll see if they can get their offense clicking here in the third. Nash passes it to Hill. They need to get off a shot. He gets hammered and they'll head to the line. them both. Elson inbounds the ball. Isolates. Ginobili bounces it going inside. Duncan, five on the shot clock. Can't sink the first. Well, he had a chance to tie it up there, but at least they got something out of it. The Suns still holding on to a small lead. It's anyone's game, Kevin. Every possession counts. To Stoudemire. Oh, what a pass! Oh. Whoa! Throws it down! There's high percentage shot, and then there's a 100% shot. That's as close as it gets right there. 
Definitely worth a second look with the Sprite Slam Cam. They could go two for one if they hurry, Kevin. Backs down. Duncan. Oh! He flushes it in. Way to return the favor, young man. An eye for an eye, a dunk for a dunk. Hill. Whoa! Nails the buzzer beater. Well, it's been an exciting game as we finish the third. The score is still close, 14 to 11. Stoudemire has played his heart out. Six points and four rebounds. Well, you expect nothing less from a play of his caliber, Kevin. He knows his team is counting on him to produce, and he's given them everything he's got. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Hill inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Crosses it over. Hill. Terrific swap. Big time block right there. This is still anyone's game. Manu. Yes! That's why you work the ball inside. Nice finish for it. Nash brings it up the court. Stoudemire backs down. Hill. Good! His agility and soft touch really paid off there. Not many players could have laid that in. Get the perimeter. Three eyes. Yeah, yeah. 104 left to the fourth. Seven on the shot clock. Marion, money! He puts that shot up from under his chin. Yeah, but with that quick release, it rarely gets blocked. More important, it goes in. You said it. Right wing, here's Bowen. Three D. Hill was having none of that. He read that all the way. He got in position and influenced the shot. Mary inbounds the ball. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. from the line and it's a seven point ball game under a minute to go and the game is all but over dishes it to the stripe to Ginobili Boom from just inside the arm gets it to the ball the Spurs will go for the intentional foul They'll try to stretch this game out, but it's too little, too late. They need to write this one off and just let them dribble out the clock. Sinks the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Gets them both, and it's a seven-point ball game. 
The Spurs will take a timeout. They're behind by seven. 14 seconds left to the fourth. Getting set to inbound the ball. Switch, baby, switch. Watch the wing, watch the wing. Check outside. Duncan inbounds the ball. Ginobili goes up. Can't hit the jumper after freeing himself up with the pump fake. The big fella holds it in. This guy knows how to fight for a rebound. Nash spins. That last shot from 12 feet made. That last long distance lob, no good by Parker. The Suns win the hard fought game as they outlast the Spurs 24 to 15. They did a good job converting on their free throws. Definitely, they were money from the line and that's what did it. They were confident, they stayed focused and that's why they got the W. That's right. Stoudemire is the Jordan brand player of the game, and he was impressive. Well, his hard work on the glass was crucial to their victory, Kevin. He did a great job of battling down low. Now, let's check out the hot zones. Well, that's it for us. On behalf of Kenny Smith and Craig Say, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports.